So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we could make a movie based on the most popular video game franchise out there. Oh, the Super Mario Brothers? That's not how it's pronounced. It might be. It's not. So anyway, I thought since this thing already has a bunch of fans, so they'd all come see a movie for me. if we yes, made sir, one. I wow. do. So tell it's me about this thing. How does it all start? start? It's a family well, 65 of superheroes. million years great. ago, the they kids were going to love that. For right? sure. Okay, so you have a green lantern script. Yes, sir, I do. So we're going to start the movie with a bunch of narration and what this green lantern is. Is what like they're all about. Oh, that's smart. That's that way that's we'll smart. save time by getting it all done better in the beginning. Actually, the characters are going to re-explain it all to the protagonist later in the movie. Oh, so why are we doing it all in the beginning then? Because that works. Anyways, there's a green lantern hero named Avatar. What's he like? Oh, he's awesome. He's like Sylvie's Batman.
So then Nick and Jenny have to run away, but it turns out the mummy can control sand. So she breaks all the windows in London and makes like a sandwich. So eventually Neo's going to meet this guy named the Architect and he builds the Matrix. Oh, and what's he going to do? He's going to talk so much. Just talking, pretty much anything they need her to do in any scenes like that. Ergo and visa B and concordantly. Why does he use fancy words like that? Well, because I want everybody to know that I know those words. He manages to get the dagger. So this guy is going to reveal that Neo is actually like the sixth one. And every time they reboot this whole time, the new one was smashable. And then Neo has to choose between saving Zion and saving Trinity. So then the mummy tells Nick, look, if you destroy the stone, then Jenny's dead. She's falling from a building and he flies so fast. There's a trail of like death onto humanity. That's right. Yeah, so he goes with that. What? Yeah, he stabs himself with a dagger and he lets the god of death enter him. Why would he do that? But then through the power of a one night stand, he's able to overpower the god of death. So we're just giving him like infinite power now. Oh, I'm not even done. Then in the real world, he stops the sentinel with his mind. And that brings all things outside the matrix now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then the god and sergeant fail. They run out. Yeah, but anyway, taking down the sentinel in the real world did make him bring me back to life. But what are we doing? How did he bring him back? Wasn't his body destroyed in the plane crash? Well, Neil's in a coma. He's lying right next to a guy who's being controlled by agents. Right next to a guy who's being controlled by agents. Right next to a guy who's being controlled by agents. So Nick is like, where's your sense of adventure? And they take off on horses towards the pyramids. Sure, that may as well happen. It will. So what do you think? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter what I think, right? Because people are like obsessed with the real world. Exactly. They sure are. It doesn't matter if they have a strong foundation or not. Oh, neat. Exactly. So what do you think? Wait, so does anything get resolved? No, not really. I mean, the machines are making their way to Zion, but there's like a whole other movie for that. Okay, yeah, this does sound like a solid part one. Over a hundred technically it's part two, of course, but also absolutely not. Right, but anyway, as long as we have Keanu Reeves doing some cool stuff, I think people are going to be happy. Oh, they will. I can't see Keanu getting much more badass than this. As always, check back soon for a new pitch. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a ton of these on the channel that you can check out. You can also leave me a comment down below letting me know what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share on Facebook and Twitter. Spread it around. And as always, check back soon for a new pitch. Bye-bye.